It's like, Tom, you, you dispel some common myths surrounding foreign aid. You write foreign aid, only about 1% of the U.S. budget, roughly $60 billion. What then is the disconnect between perception on the part of some voters and the reality of the amount of money that is earmarked for this? The disconnect long predates our current um, debates. That disconnect goes back years and years. And in fact, um, one of the more I, I would say entertaining, except that it, it really is a dangerous problem. But one of the more amusing things is that if you ask the average American how much they think foreign aid should be, they want it reduced to 10 percent, um, which, of course, is you know, 10 times more than it actually is. Um, people generally estimate foreign aid uh, to be around anywhere from 30 to, to 15 or 20 percent of the budget. So when we have these, these debates, it plays right into the hands of people who do know better, including the Republican members of the House, um, to try to push this as a hot button to see if they can generate um, a wedge between voters and the White House in this case. Um, but this is, this is an old problem that Americans just don't understand foreign aid. They also don't understand that foreign aid is um, usually in the form of things that we buy from other Americans and then send overseas. Um, people have this misconception that it's, you know, these suitcases of cash that we just leave on foreign doorsteps, which, of course, is not the case. Um, but again, it makes for a great narrative if you're trying to jam up the White House um, with silly bills like the one that is going to go absolutely nowhere that the House just passed. Here's the thing, Tom. I fully take your point that this is a problem long in the making. And yet I have to imagine that in a time of political America first, that that becomes particularly exacerbated. And then it's not just these House Republicans, but the long tail of four years of Donald Trump trying to make the argument that part of the reason things weren't as good as we would want them to be here at home was because we had prioritized a global agenda. So I, I want you to sort of take it for me in context of like, yes, there is a long tail to this problem. What, how is it manifest most recently? Well, the Republicans have taken this and, and just run with it. It used to be in the before times when, when um, we had reasonably rational, uh, two rational parties who would argue about this, um, that everybody would kind of make their point about foreign, foreign aid. You know, in the old days, there would be isolationists of both the right and the left saying, if only, you know, if we weren't sending this money overseas, we'd be helping farmers. Um, or we'd be helping the poor in the inner city. It doesn't work that way. It's not, that's not how any of this works to begin with. But what Republicans have done is really um, taken this, and instead of what used to happen, which is everybody kind of scores their points and they, make their, they, put their, they use it to put their priorities out there, then they would sit down and say, all right, but we have to get this done. It is in the national interest. We're only disagreeing about how much of it we should spend rather than whether we should spend it at all. Republicans have taken this um, as they have with many other things, to say, we're not here to govern. We're not here to actually do any of this. We are here to use every single issue that comes across the desk, including foreign aid, as a political weapon um, to, to, to further this kind of ongoing cultural warfare. And so that's really what's different about this time, is that Republicans really don't care about getting any of this done. And I think in part it's because they're just so fundamentally unserious about the challenges facing the country and things going on around the world. They are, they are just locked in and focused on how do we constantly keep our base angry and sending us money and voting for us. And there was a time, and I, I don't mean to sound too naive, but I, I did work in Congress 30 years ago, um, there was a time um, when people were more serious about this and understood that um, foreign aid was part of the national um, security and foreign policy of the United States. And this is just a group of completely unserious people who use it for purely performative reasons. Again, like the bill we just saw um, come out of the House that's, that's not going to go anywhere, but it makes for great headlines back home and on, on other networks.